Okay, so number nine from the homework, we have, it says, a tire on my car will make 840 revolutions per minute when traveling 60 miles per hour. And you can write that either way, and I show that in the video. How many degrees per second is the tire moving? We want to know degrees per second. Okay? So this does give you some extraneous information. It gives you extra information that you don't need, per se, in order to get to degrees per second. And that extra information they gave you is this, okay? If I'm looking at starting at 840 revolutions per minute, here we go. We have, let's change time first. We have minutes, we want seconds. How do I do that? 60 seconds in one minute. So where does the minute go here in this next thing? Top or bottom? Top. Because we want to cancel this and this to a form of one. So one minute is 60 <coughs> seconds. This is what we know. This is why we chose this. We just have to figure out. If it goes on bottom, I'm going to have minutes squared, and that's weird. That's acceleration stuff. Okay. So we want them to cancel like a form of one, top and bottom. And you're used to this. You've seen x and x cancel to one. You've seen three over three cancel to one, so on and so forth. That's all we're doing, okay? So that's how you change your units of measure. Right now, my running answer is saying revolutions per second. We, well, the seconds is good. We're good there, okay? But we want degrees of top. So you tell me, like you know one foot is 12 inches. Stuff like that. Match up revolutions to get to degrees. What do I do? Okay, so one revolution is like one complete circle. It's 360. Does revolution here go on top or bottom? Bottom. Because now the top and bottom will cancel to a form of one. So one revolution is how many degrees? 360. So now look at it. My result unit of measure is this. All of these other ones got canceled out. It's like they're gone, okay? You can't see them anymore. And then the other one that you have on the bottom is seconds, which is what you're wanting. So all you have to do is look at all the numbers that you have left over, ooh, and you're going to multiply those together and reduce form and see what you get. So 841, you don't have to write down. And you have those numbers appearing. So let's go to our calculator. Okay. And we're going to do this together. So control divide 840 times. We have 360. And we're going to put it over 60 on the bottom and see what we get. Control enter. Let's see what decimals and you get 5040. So over here, this will, gonna, this will be a, an answer of 5,040 degrees over seconds, which you can write it, which I want you to write it like this on your quizzes and tests, okay? 5,000 degrees over seconds. Remember, I want the unit um, diagonal like that. If it's a number like 3 fourths or 1 eighth or whatever, that I want horizontal. But units of measure, I want diagonal, which is what you saw in your ad puzzle. Yes? So don't you use a shortcut for this one that you want to work the revolution? They already use it. Yeah, but okay. Did, so it did not work? No. Um, I think what it is, is seconds SEC or S by itself? Do you all know? I think, I think it's, uh, okay, so let me show you what he did, okay? So I'm going to quickly um, sign you in, and I'm going to show you what he did. Now, I probably should have signed you all in for the sake of speed and with the, the video. Look, check this out, guys. So Mason is asking us to look at this. He tried to use the shortcut that he saw in the ad puzzle, where it's 840 revolutions per minute, and he's trying to change it to degrees per second. 
Notice how he tried both ways for seconds. I think, if I'm not mistaken, just like you know miles per hour is like this and like this, I think revolutions per minute is RPM. So let's check it out real quick, okay? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put um, 840, and I don't know, I'm going to figure it out with you. Um, RPM, so underscore RPM is going to be control book, parentheses, control divide. It's going to change to underscore degrees. This may or may not work, we'll figure it out. Um, control underscore seconds. Let's see if we get 50 40, okay? So that one didn't show it. Let's try seconds with SEC. And it didn't show it either. So that, there's some units of measure that are not going to show it, but, okay? So just understand that. Um, I'll try one more thing. Um, because looking at what you did, revolutions per minute, I think if anything, I could maybe do this to. Um, no, that's not going to do it. It's not, I don't think it'll do it. I'll look for it. I'll try to see if I can figure it out. But for now, just do it the way we did it by hand, okay? All right. Thank you for that excellent question.